Jeff Turnbull, and before we get into heads for limbs and tails for ELN, I thought I'd spend a minute, no longer I promise, on uh, my background. I am a mathematician by schooling uh, and got into the lab informatics limbs world in the 1990s. So I've been associated with limbs for longer than I care to remember, actually, but close to 30 years. In the early 2000s, I took a sabbatical from LIMS and moved into the more manufacturing environment and focused my attention in manufacturing execution systems. And in so doing, was able to see a lot of parallels between MES and what is now known as ELN. Five years ago, I came back into lab informatics working for CSOLs, who are a leading lab informatics consulting company. So having said that, let's get into the meat of our webinar. What we want to be able to do today is understand what is the future lab? What's it going to look like? And in order to do that, we need to understand what's happening in the lab informatics marketplace. We also need to understand certain approaches that have been taken or planned on being taken by different companies in different industries to solve their problem. Uh, and we need to understand the marketplace. What is out there? What is available? How mature is the technology associated with these products? And finally, we will review the decisions that you have to make and give some advice on how to go about making them. What we want to be able to do is leave you with the knowledge to be able to make pragmatic decisions rather than risking it all on the toss of a coin. So, what is the lab of the future? Wouldn't it be nice if we could operate just like CSI does on the television? where they do amazing things in amazingly short periods of time. For example, they, they, they go to a crime scene, they examine some spilled paint on the floor of the crime scene, take a chip of it back to the lab and put it in a vial, run it through their mass spec, and not only within seconds do they know the manufacturer of the paint, but also the specific lot number and which store stocks it. And from then, it's just a simple matter to track down the perpetrator based on the credit card he used for the purchase. And they do all of that in under one hour. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So what do we get when we look at TV? Uh, what is the public perception of lab informatics? Well, the shows give science a really good name, but it gives the, the, the audience the impression that testing can yield almost instantaneous results with no preparation of any of the evidence required. It also gives the impression that there are these huge databases out there that where matches or searches can be made, again, in a matter of seconds. And finally, they use wonderful automated equipment, touch screens and virtual environments in which to orchestrate their evidence uh, to testing. And all through this, nobody, and I repeat, nobody gets dirty. Wouldn't it be nice if our labs could operate like that? Well, can they? Can LIMS or ELN or combinations of these, these uh, products deliver this? 